Hi everyone, it's Emily and Greg from Rev Robotics. We're back with our kickoff concept series to talk to you about some more intakes. Since last time we, got, we saw you guys, we've iterated a little bit more and created some new content, including another scoop slash claw mechanism and some more roller mechanism, mechanisms. Um, we went ahead and did a scoop mechanism to iterate on the claw we saw before. The reason we chose a scoop was to prevent some of that rolling away that we saw in the previous um, video with the claw. So the scoop is on this nice servo linkage, um, which is nice because you don't have to use any more motors to power this. You can focus on putting up motors on other mechanisms. But now that we've gone over sort of the basics of what we did here, let's go ahead and take a look at the testing we did on this mechanism. So we took this mechanism out. The one thing that we saw was that the duct does not retain very well, but there's some easy fixes you could do to make sure that it retains. Otherwise, it was able to scoop in the cube, and you notice that here in a second, that when we scoop in the ball, it doesn't run away with us, like run away again like it did with the last claw mechanism. So we've built this basic scoop claw. It worked pretty well, but we wanted to continue to iterate on some intake designs. And so we went ahead and moved on to um, a side roller intake, which we didn't really show much of in the last video. We did talk about um, roller intakes and compliance. Uh, we built this side roller intake because we wanted to explore doing rolling through both ends rather than just over the top. Um, as you can see, we used polycord on sprockets to sort of make this side roller intake. We were able to easily intake one of the cubes um, and outtake it as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and test with the ball. Again, we're not having that problem we were seeing in previous intakes where it was pushing the ball or the cube away. We're able to intake them very easily because the polycord is very compliant. Um, and you'll see we are able to do that with the duck as well, um, although the duck does shoot out, out of the side of the intake. Yeah, part of the nice thing about this type of style is, is it's all about compliance with intake, right? And so if, whenever you're intaking a hard object like the cube or the ball, you need something to move, whether that's physically the structure is sprung or the wheel itself is sprung. And so in this scenario, these, these kind of act, give you that compliance and they're really grabby so that it could kind of conform around whatever the object is. Um, the other intake that we kind of iterated on was kind of a hybrid of the bungee roller and a little bit of like trying to add more compliance to the structure. Um, kind of thinking about like, since we only have to pick up one object, one of the things here is that, you know, we haven't decided, you know, which is better going through the slot or going over the rails, but we we're saying like, how small of an intake could you possibly make to be successful at doing this? So we built this really kind of tight compound mechanism. It's got a spring-loaded jaw, right? And that's not driven, that's just totally spring-loaded. And then it uses our two-inch compliant wheels. And basically the idea is as it sucks in, it spreads to grab. So let's take a look at some of the, the test footage on this one. So as you can see, um, this one, um, it needs a lot of tuning to get this right. Um, the wheels are spinning so fast that sometimes the ball kind of gets pushed away, but when the ball actually does go in there, it's like really locked in there. It actually will sit there and spin. So um, that might be a tuning thing. Um, the cube, this thing picks up the cube awesome. So um, it's unbelievable at picking up the cube. Um, and then the duck, the duck also uh, picks up really well. It shoots out the top because it's smaller. Um, but a little piece of like polycarb or a little piece of coroplast on the top to uh, contain the duck from flying away uh, might do quite a bit. So I think, you know, kind of the next steps here is, you know, I think the claws are probably, we've gone as far as I think we, we can go with claw. They will work, but there's just a lot of precision driving that you have to do to make a claw work. Um, so. If you're getting started, I think that that's a great place to, to get started, but you really want a some type of intake that has a lot more compliance on it. So I think what we're gonna do is, based on the success of this and some of the other roller intakes, um, we're probably gonna do a little bit more iteration um, on these, but I, I kinda think that, you know, hopefully with just what we've shown here already, you can kinda see you know, some type of spinning intake to gather it or bring it towards you might be something that you'd want to look at for your robot. So uh, that's kind of where we are on intakes and we'll, uh, we'll check in and see if we've made any more further development on the intakes later on.